They do have members of the National Guard today going door to door, checking on residents who lost power during the storm. And a state of emergency remains in effect across Erie County. But in the city of Buffalo, the travel ban has been lifted. Now the mayor says 450 pieces of snow removal equipment are in action and still clearing the road six days after the storm began. Fox Weather's Robert Ray is live in Buffalo. Robert, good morning. Um, how are things there? And what have you been able to discover? I mean, it has been such a wild event here. I can't believe we're talking almost a week into this, and there are still some major problems. Uh, I know, Amy. Good morning here from South Buffalo, about three miles from downtown. Quickly, I want to get to Samaya Prescott, who is a resident in this area on a street that is not plowed. What have you been going through? We have been stuck in the house since last Friday. It's been cold. The snow is done. We had to climb out windows. We can't go nowhere. Our job is not being fair about it. We can't do nothing. We've tried to ask people for help. That's going down the street. Nobody is helping us. And it's kind of like driving us crazy now. We've been in this snow for almost a week now. We can't do nothing. We come out every day. It's like nobody is here to help. And it's like this is about one of the worst ones I've ever had to deal with since I've been alive. Like I I'm moving out of Buffalo soon. This is crazy because it's stopping my money. I've got to pay bills. It's just a lot. And, and, and Samaya, you came up to me right for the live shot asking if I had any way to get your vehicle out because yes. this street is just covered. Yes, and they try to help us with us. Uh, snow up to our car. They did anything. They just helped the interway. So it's like, we don't know what to do. We just been stuck. And it's like, no hope, kind of. Yeah. Okay. So, Maya, I'm, I'm going to continue to talk. If I see anyone here, I'm going to send them your way because you're right there. And yes. I'll come talk to you in a I second. I appreciate that so much. Yeah. You guys have a nice time. Yeah, Samaya, so thank you. Yeah. Be safe, okay? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Pleasure. pleasure. Thank you. Um, Amy, I mean, this is just one story here. Uh, the thing is, is, you know, this block is covered in snow, as you see. I'm going to make my way towards you, walk over these hurdles and, and giant piles of snow, over 100 inches of snow. You have to be very careful. It's icy. Over 100 inches of snow has fallen since the middle of November. Uh, just an amazing amount. Uh, this street uh, was partially plowed, and then it got packed down, unfortunately. Uh, and then the ice uh, is all over. Uh, and I think, unfortunately, she may have just fallen uh, down. Yeah, it is not safe at all. I apologize, guys. Uh, but the thing is, is the, the city uh, says that uh, over 90% of the main roads uh, are cleared. Uh, many of the side roads, uh, uh, neighbors have taken it into their own hands to do that. Um, the amount of uh, plows and vehicles out here, according to the city, is well over 400, uh, trying to get the city back in order. Temp's going to be in the mid-40s today, so you know we could see some melting, but that's just going to create a massive mess. And here's the thing, actually, Mark, can you zoom in down there? Samaya just fell on this ice. I heard her as I was walking it's really not safe as you can see i think she's holding her head right now uh, and uh, that's the situation out here in many parts of buffalo as people are are trying to get around and uh, and unfortunately uh, getting hurt uh, while they're doing so uh, just a, a situation that continues to unfold here and you heard the distraught in her voice and now she is injured. Uh, this is uh, just not a good scene at all out here this morning, even though uh, officials uh, have reopened uh, the streets and the travel ban is lifted. Uh, they are still telling people if they can uh, to stay off the roads this morning. Amy. Oh, but bless her heart. I hope she's OK. Uh, Robert, you make so many good points there that people want to get out. They're trying to survey what's going on with their property. They're trying to get on with the days. But this is something that's going to take a while for people to get back on their feet. I'm curious. We talked a little bit about the water that's coming. Uh, I heard reports that they might be sandbagging. Um, as you go throughout the day today, I will be curious to find out what residents will do to protect themselves from any water that may melt. So we'll be checking back in with you. Thanks for your report. Robert Ray, Buffalo. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.